Hello everyone, this is Lydia. Print and Cut can be a great way to quickly create multiple tags or stickers. This tutorial will walk you through the steps of creating a Print and Cut design. The term Print and Cut means that images are printed on a printer, then the printed page is placed on a cutting mat and loaded into the Cricut machine. The Cricut scans the registration box and then cuts out the images. There are some images in Design Space that are designed to be Print and Cut images only. These images don't require any adjustment before printing and cutting. These images have a printer symbol in the lower right corner. Keep in mind that the maximum area for print and cut is six and three quarters inches by nine and a quarter inches. The only material size for print and cut is eight and a half inches by 11 inches. For this design, I have added two images and two lines of text to my design screen. If I flatten these multi-layer images without a background to, to create a single layer printable image, each individual letter will cut out. Since this isn't what I want, I need to flatten to a background image. If you can see the grid lines behind your image, you need a background image. If you see grid lines, you are looking at cut lines. In, in this example, the inside and the outside of this red circle will cut, as will each individual letter. When the bottom image is cut, which is flattened to a solid background image, just the outside of the circle will cut. I have a circle for a background image, so I'm going to move that over my images and text. And this circle will need to be moved to the back. So I hit Arrange and Send to Back. The background images is now behind the images and text. You can still adjust the size of the images and text at this point. To select all the layers, since I only have one image that I want to print on this screen, I can hit select all to select all the layers on the design screen, or I can drag a bounding box but, uh, over, my, over my images and text, or I could hold down the shift key and select my images and text in the layers panel. When I've done that, I will click Flatten. Flattening will also change the images and text to cut and print. So there's no need to change the layers to print before flattening. Also, images don't need to be attached, grouped, or welded before flattening. After clicking Make It, you'll be on the Prepare screen. Design Space will put a black box around your image. This is the registration mark that your machine will scan so that it knows where to cut. The Cricut will cut inside this box. The portion of your printable material with this box printed on it will be discarded after cutting. Increase the number of copies with the up arrow until it reaches the number needed. Then click Apply. Next, hit Continue and follow the prompts to print your project. Place the printed material in the upper left corner of the mat. Load into the Cricut machine, pressing the mat firmly against the rollers while pressing the Load button. Select the setting either on the dial for the Explore series or the screen for the Maker. Press the blinking Go button. The Cricut will scan the registration box and then cut the printed images. Thanks for watching. I hope this video has been helpful. If it has, please give me a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel.